Hey guys, we're back. I have a box of Dominaria Remastered. I have taken the seal off already on, uh, cause I had to restart the video, but um, it's the same box, I just opened it, there's no difference here. I am very interested to see what we can get here. I, this is my first uh, box opening of Dominaria Remastered. When this first came out, I was super excited. And I still am. I, I, I'm guessing it's a great product. There's lots of good hits to have here. So let's uh, see if we can get any. And, you know, I kind of wanted to keep it on my streak. You know, um, what was it? Uh, yesterday we pulled Urza, right? Let me fix this a little bit. Okay. Right there. Okay. Yesterday. Yesterday we pulled Urza. And I was like, you know what? Why don't we try to pull Urza again? Because that's exactly what we can do with this. Urza's in here too, guys, and so is Yogmoth, right? Yogmoth's in here? Okay, so let's see which way these go. Okay, I have to, sorry. Get this mic situation figured out. Okay. Um. And these are draft packs, so we're we're not no longer body snatcher. I love those old school borders, old school art forest. Sorry guys, I just need to fix this a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, nice. So we got some good stuff here. Just the old school borders with that bubbly. I remember seeing that as a kid when I first. I think I was introduced to, I was, when it first came out, I think I was about eight years old, and my dad worked, or he owned a shop in Eugene, Oregon, downtown. Worldly Tutor, starting off with our first tutor, I'll, if it's a tutor, I'm going to put it up here, huh? That's pretty good. Um, it's not retro frame, but who cares? Okay, and I guess we're getting, like, retro frames here, too. I don't know exactly what how the packs work so we're gonna find that out as we go but um my dad ran a shop and these guys were super into magic as well and they introduced me and my brother nature's lore sarah angel right there sarah's here cool nice pain and suffering and then we have a, a cliff top retreat uh, so these are from dominary oh wow okay and then a Mistress Factory, old school border. Those look, that's awesome. What the heck? Cool. Why not? And these uh, old school lands are great. I feel like every pack, um, you're going to get something nice because you get these old school lands. I, you, you never know with like how they tone down the um, Swords to Plowshares. Nice. Right off the bat, Valduk. It almost feels World Gorger Dragon. There's our first mythic, and our look at that. See, we're getting some of the cool stuff as well. Uh, full art, oversold cemetery, um, foil as well. I, I guess uh, I'm gonna put. Oh, and you know what? I I just noticed there's not a lot of foils in here, so we're going the old school foil route too. Which oh, because we're doing draft packs, of course. Kind of drives me nuts that every pack has a foil. This kind of brings it back, you know? So we're not getting all those foils. Meaningless foils. Meaningless Pringled cards. Here we go. Chainer's Edict. Nice. Like, just throw in the random full arts. I don't know. It just seems like these boxes right now, they're going for... 112 bucks you know i just i just never thought they'd get down as low as they did i you know i've seen them down get down to about 100 bucks is the lowest i've seen but i just didn't imagine that it, they would end up that way here we go because it just seems like the product has a lot of good stuff in it gauntlet of power the mind stone old school and there we, there we go. 
there's like really good stuff in here. You know, you got the, you can get a force of will. You could get, but it's crazy now. Force of will. You know, it, I was always like eighty bucks, ninety bucks, but now they've reprinted force of will so many times. Sapperlene symbiosis, Savannah lions. There's another foil for us. Only two foils so far. Um, but they've reprinted Force of Will so many times that it's just, the thing can't hold value, you know? It's, uh, but you know, it's still 40 bucks, but every, you always think of Force of Will being like the counter spell. But you know, with all the power creep and everything changing around, it's just not always the case anymore, right? Gamble. Here we go. Get Yogmoth. Get no, more tutors. There's all these tutors. I was just cool pulling the tutor right off the bat. And it's cool the tutors are rare, I think. So, more odds of getting that as well. I see Manipulator. Recoil Congregate. Or, or Arborea right there. There we go. Two Mythics so far. I wonder how many. If this is going to follow the old school draft pack five mythics six mythics so we're gonna get more let's see show me what you got thran golem often mancer grim lava mancer like look there we go we did it okay we can turn off the video we can uh end the video now we pulled exactly what we wanted to I heard a bit of news today, I thought it was pretty crazy, that uh, they have canceled, officially I guess, uh, well it's only official because this uh, the guy who played Gideon Jura in the Netflix Magic the Gathering, Rith the Awakener um, show, it's officially canceled guys, I'm sorry, bummer. I'm sorry, I know that's a bummer to y'all, but they canceled it. Gideon, the actor said that, um, he didn't know exactly what happened to it, that he uh, he recorded all of his lines. They were good to go. Arcades, find the beginning of your upkeep. This is the old school Arcades, but with like new art, right? Okay, because uh, the, what is it, Core Set 2019 had the new Arcades. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Arcades Sabbath, unless you pay three. Uh, a forest, a plains, and an island. Each untapped creature you control gets zero two as long as it's not attacking. Arcades Sabbath gets zero one until the end of the turn. So Arcades in the core set, he um, what does he do? He's like he turns all your uh, defenders. You they attack with your their defense instead of their um, their power. Pretty powerful for as long as you can keep that effect in play. I always thought the the ancient dragons, the dragons from Core 19 were way really cool. There's like uh, Rift Grove, Wrath of God right there. Nice chain lightning, bam. So you get the old school border one, but um, what is it? Nicol Bolas, Arcades, um, Nicol Bolas' sister, Pladium Wars, right? Is that Pladium Wars? What are the other dragons? There's that mirror dragon. I can think of three of the dragon names. And Nicol Bolas is pretty, one of the easier ones to remember. For some reason, Nicol Bolas is easier to remember. Okay, Hunting Grounds, our third mythic. Nice, okay. More there. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm not really sad about it. Uh, like, if it was being made by the people who ever made Arcane for League of Legends, like, holy damn. That show was impressive. They did such a good job on that show. It was uh, incredible. I'm, uh, you never know how that stuff's going to turn out. There's so many bad adaptations that people make for card games and video games. And, uh, you can't, <laughs> you never know how something's going to, uh, turn out. You get Rings of Power. Which, believe it or not, I am, like, slugging through that right now. Exploration! There we go. Cool. Good hit right there. Dang. Exploration. And is that... It's kind of in the old border, right? Yeah, it's the retro frame. 
Got the retro frame exploration right there. Cool. Okay. Oop! <laughs> Another exploration. Wow. That's cool. And then a Grim Lava Mancer. Awesome. In the full, uh, the foil full art. Awesome. Wow. I mean, not bad so far. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Double exploration and a Grim Lava Mancer right there. That's a good pack. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've just had so many bad. Um, Lotus Blossom. Cool. Another Chain Lightning Island. We've just had so many bad adaptations. And I don't know. People throw their own stuff into it. But you never know. It, it could turn out. It would be nice if, uh, since it's already, you know, everything's recorded. And I guess the story was already done. If somebody can get in there. Ooh, old school swords to plowshares right there. That's cool. If somebody could get in there and, like... Uh, you know, leak what it was going to be about, maybe some of the audio. It's like, why not, guys? If you're not going to use it, it'd be good. Plus, like, I heard there was um, a Magic the Gathering movie that, you know, failed. Squirrel's Nest right there. Oh, Treva. Isn't Treva the other? I think so. Arborea. Another one. Terror. Um, there's a movie that got canceled. And then, what else? I don't know, just, I don't <laughs> ever expect any of that stuff to be good, you know? Not really. Here we go. Hadra. Hadda, not Hadra. Zer the Enchanter, there he is. Cool. What were we talking about? Failed. I don't know. I think it's probably better than it did. Because imagine this. It comes out and then it bombs. And then they're just like, okay, we're never doing anything ever again. So I'd rather they do it and then they do it right. Um, it, it reminds me, if you remember this. Mistress Factory right there. Forgotten Ancient Goblin Matron Foil. Um, they made that Diablo kind of game for Magic. It was Diablo ish but it was it looks so bad just that it has the same um character problems like the the designs of the characters cryptic gateway are, is just not good like um it's that same style that game that just came out that uh, like totally failed the flop they just make the character designs like look like shit and they expect people to want to play it it's like People want to have, you know, attractive, good-looking characters, you know? Not all the time, not every time, but they want the choice. They don't want you to purposely make Polish, Pashalik Mons. Pashalik Mons. They don't want you to purposely make your character designs look like, you know, a fucking hobo. <laughs> they were just like, goofy, oh, so silly, wacky, like the, the, what was it? I'm trying to think. The, the Ravnica guy, he had this goofy-ass hair, and he just looked super silly. And it's just like, why don't you just let us play the Gatewatch? I know, I know, and I know a lot of people don't like the Gatewatch, but I do. And that's it. I guess this is just the era. Nobody likes the Planeswalkers anymore. No love for the Planeswalkers, but I'm trying to think of the name of that game. It would be nice to like look into that a little bit more. Just like how things can go so terribly wrong. And I think um, everybody knew it like right off the bat. Like as soon as you saw that game, I don't think there was anyone who was like, hmm, maybe, maybe. I think everyone was like, oh, that's going to fucking die immediately. And guess what? It did. And for me, a lot of it, it was the character designs, you know? I just didn't like them. I thought they looked like shit. Um... And the gameplay, just like, I just, even though magic is its own thing, trying to think of like, you're a planeswalker and you summon beasts like you're playing, the, like, I'm not sure the card game translates to a regular game very well, at least in the way that they were doing it. 
like summoning creatures and all this kind of stuff. Like I feel like they were not doing it correctly. Okay. So we're getting down to the end here. But so my guess is we probably weren't missing out on anything too great with um by missing that is my thought. Probably did everyone a favor. But I do feel bad. Squirrel's Nest right there. For the people who put in the work and the time and they uh, put in the stuff and maybe, you know, they cared about their characters and then it just doesn't go a good way. And that's what I, I read too. It's like, uh, so they had uh, several different groups working on the thing and then they departed due to artistic differences. And it's like, how are y'all having artistic difference problems on a, a show about a game like guys get it together you know like you know i feel like that stuff happens it like happens with the witcher henry cavill just stepping away from the witcher that that made me sad i didn't even watch the next season last season of the witcher because i was a uh, windborn muse old school uh frame right there um i didn't even watch Um, the last season of The Witcher because I was like kind of bummed out you know Henry Cavill did such a good job on that show and that show was just so cool I think they just did a good job all together Wild Growth right there Dark Depths Foil Retro Art there's another mythic I remember oh, this is uh, Modern Horizons right I'm pretty sure this came out then. No, did it? I'm trying to think when that came out. Because there's Thing in the Ice. Maybe I'm getting that confused. Thing in the Ice was um, Shadows over Innistrad. Snowland. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that came out with Modern Horizons Dark Depths. That looks, that looks awesome in the retro frame foil. This is such a cool product. And it is Sylvan <laughs> Library. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Retro frame. Woohoo. What a good box. What a good stuff. I was wondering, hoping here at the end we'd get something nice. Yeah, no. Well, we got two explorations, Sylvan Library. We just got like a Vampiric Tutor or Force of Will. That would be great. Let's see. I'm not complaining though. I'm happy with what we, with what we've achieved here. I am very mystical tutor. Got another tutor there. Street wraith. Nice. Happy to get another tutor. So we got two of the tutors. I'm pretty sure. Can't complain with two tutors. Okay. Tiana. Battle Screech, Storm Entity, another Grim Lava Mancer, Full Art, and then a Spirit Monger Foil. Okay, last pack. Odin's Blessings. Hope this turns out well. Let's see here. Okay. Nice. Nice. Triskillion. And that's it, guys. That's it. That's all we got there. So let's check out our mythics real quick. Okay. Gauntlet of Power, World Gorger Dragon, Sylvan Library, Dark Depths, and Hunting Ground. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five. Old school. I love it. This was an experience it just i wonder what the collector's ones are like they're looks like they're going for like 170 right now it's just a shock that this set is just not i mean they just overprinted it that's all it comes down to right they just printed too much well i'm happy with it oh i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you all have a great day i will talk to you later bye bye governor jesse ventura to send you, Devin, a little bit of a message, my friend. You need to quit slacking. You, I heard lately, have been skipping your workouts. What's going on, my man? 
You want to turn into a little fat porker? 